Hello everybody, Mark here. So today I want to make this video about website optimization and uh, how you should actually build the website, right? I have a lot of people asking me questions and asking me to review their store. So I figured I'm gonna make this video. It's gonna show you exactly how you should build your website, okay? So I'm not gonna show you within Shopify, I'm gonna show you websites that look great and have amazing conversion rate and they're making a lot of money. And that's, you're going to follow their method, and that's the method I follow as well, and to and apply it to your store, all right? I'm going to also show you a, a bad website, something that most people actually build. That's just what, like, when I review web, uh, stores, that's usually what I see, and uh, I always write the same thing, all right? People ask me to review their stores, and I always say the same thing, oh, work on product description, work on this, work on that. So this video is going to show you everything and that way yeah it's going to be easier for you guys to understand the idea behind it so don't copy everything it's just follow the general idea behind it okay so we're going to start by this this website this is one of my favorite um website why because it looks great and it's clean and those guys are doing are making a lot of money and it's a big company so they know what they're doing right everything that you see here everything that you see here is here for a reason they studied everything so that's why you should follow their method. I'm going to show you another website that does pretty much the same thing. And uh, you're going to see those people do know what they're doing. And uh, if, you did, if they're doing it, so there is a reason you should do it too. All right, so let's see. You can see here, so clean, um, clean homepage, all right? A nice banner. I always recommend a banner for the homepage. Uh, nice, to, like a collection here, but not the stupid collection page from Shopify. This is a Shopify website, by the way, but this looks clean. As well, you can put another banner if you don't have, you know, if you don't have like a nice collection page like this, then you have reviews there. That's it, all right? I see too many people having all the collection, the homepage, it's gonna slow down your website, it's gonna make your website look very bad. It's stupid, all right? So don't, don't, this is simple. You can see how simple it is. That's all you need, like a nice banner, clean website, it, it loads fast. Nice reviews about the about the, the products. Great, okay. Here you have the, the 60 days guarantee. You have the the menu, the bottom menu. This is this looks great. Okay. You don't have to complicate things. This how it should look. So yeah, that's for the homepage is pretty much it. You can see here, so they have a blog. I always recommend you to have a blog, that's very, very important, okay. Uh, why? Because it's going to increase your conversion rate. It's going to also increase uh, the trust. So if you see conversion rate again, uh, people are going to see you as a brand and not as, you know, just somebody that works in in uh, his mom's basement and just whipped up a website, you know, in five minutes. Uh, yeah, so they know, they actually know that you're taking things seriously, okay? So if we, for example, if you have a, look, a quick look at the blog, you're going to see that they actually made articles about whatever things. What does your liver do? Symptoms of an LC liver function. Does a liver cleanse really work? Does intermittent fasting boost your immune system? All those stuff, though, they are amazing articles and people actually enjoy reading them. And that's great because again, it makes, even if they don't read them, that's good for you. So spend some time, spend some hours writing stuff that people don't already know. Okay, so do your research. Don't write something that everybody knows. It's just gonna look, it's just gonna sound stupid. Uh, so something nice and true, all right? Don't copy everything again, because that's just not how you should do things. Um, yeah, that's just not how you should do things. So just do it right, write your own article. It's gonna take you a few hours, but it's worth it. Okay, this on silent. Uh, so yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it for the blog. All right, so let's go back on the home page. You can see here, um, we're gonna go on the product page. Collection, okay, great. Okay, so that's the, to me, and I mean, I know what I'm talking about. Uh, this is the perfect product page. So you can see here, no scarcity timer, no stupid, uh, yeah, all timers and scarcity things about all, all one, one product left, all those, no, you don't need that stuff, right? This looks clean, you have a nice add to cart button. Orange is good, but green, blue, Pink, I mean, a lot of colors are good. They, they used orange because they have orange everywhere. You can see it matches their brand. That's what you should do as well. I like to see a lot of website with like green, blue, yellow. Like this is not a, this is not a rainbow, right? You want to 
have something that matches your brand that looks professional and good. So that's, again, looks very nice. You can see here, like nice safe trust badge, but that's it. Nice pictures again, very important. Pictures are very, very clean. Um, yeah, with the supplement facts is for them, but anyway. So yeah, pictures are amazing. Uh, that's exactly what you should do. Zoom, yeah. Okay, so here you can see the description, okay? So I see too many people just using description for AliExpress and just with the, it says uh, size, material, and that's it. it. It's it's not how you should do things. See, look how great those descriptions are. Rejuvenate your skin and daily energy with a super fruit punch. Everybody wants, you know, to rejuvenate the skin pretty much. So that's great. Then they explain how. They explain what the product does. Aging, energy, burn fat. Again, it's amazing. As seen on NBC, social proof. But again, and credibility, you know, increase trust. But you don't, you're not going to have this. But just the method. Just the idea behind it. You can use reviews instead, all right? So here you have superfood ingredients. They explain what's inside. Again, you do it for the same. Even if you don't do food, don't tell me, oh, but I'm not in the food industry. It doesn't matter. You can do the, pretty much the same for what you're doing. If you're using a special kind of metal, you can explain it. But it's different now because, my bad, because it's it, like people don't really care about it. But you could talk about what it will do, what it will actually, what kind of issues it will solve. Or if it's not a need product, if it's a want product. I, I, I sell mostly want products. Okay, guys, I always tell them, tell you to find need products because it's easier when you start. But I actually sell want products. They do sell, but it's harder. Uh, so you can explain how it would like make their home or make themselves look amazing or make whatever it is. Okay, uh, it's very important. So you can see here the products, they explain like the, 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 the ingredients and what's in, inside the ingredients, very good. Um, again, that they explain, you know, that they fight for malnutrition and children around the world. So that's great. Again, you can't do this, but just the idea, nice pictures, video, video is great. Again, if you can have a video of your product or a video of, you know, you can make a quick video of your product if you buy it or if you ask somebody to make it, that's great. Again, like social proof. It's fine if you don't have this, guys, okay? This is the perfect product page. Doesn't mean that yours has to be exactly like this, but if you have all those things, like videos, you should definitely do it. Um, if you don't, it's fine, all right? That's that's completely fine. Um, it's just the example you should follow. Here you have the reviews. Again, don't write fake reviews. Oh, this is the best store I've ever seen. Like, because I see that so often. This is just, it looks stupid. People know that you're lying and they're just gonna leave your store. As soon as I see something on one, on one store, I don't even think twice. I just leave the store. So yeah, you want it to be like nice, uh, nice reviews. Okay, social proof again and reviews. Okay, so that's amazing product page. You can see here, add to cart, great stuff, clean. Again, reviews, amazing, very, very clean. This actually I would remove, you see? Like they have reviews here, but they also have what our customers are saying about us. I don't, I don't like the way it looks. Uh, real reviews from real customers, and this, I think it's, it's just both. You know, it, it, you shouldn't use this. If I were you, I would, I, if I were them, I would uh, just use this, and that's what I do for my store. So you can use Yotpo, or you can use also Looks. It's cheap, okay. Uh, I have people asking me about free, free apps and stuff. You have to pay for good apps, all right? Because trust me, when you have free app that doesn't work and that just mess your store up then you're gonna be happy like it happened to me a few times it's just a nightmare so don't don't cut corners all right do things right and that's that's how it works you can see here actually there's a bug here see so you can always improve even then they could improve uh so yeah the stores that's great they have a phone here perfect clean nothing else they have a one page checkout uh, that's an app uh, it costs three hundred dollars uh uh, months. Uh, it's a great app. It's called Carthook, but I wouldn't like can check right now. Uh, I can show you. Yeah, it's a great app, but it doesn't work with SMS bump and all those retargeting apps because it doesn't integrate because it's, it's separate from Shopify. So I wouldn't recommend it for now. But in the by the end of the month, I talked to somebody from Carthook and they told me that they're going to integrate it. So as soon as it does, I'm going to let you know, guys, and I'm going to do it from I'm going to implement it for my store because it's going to reduce the abandoned cart rate. And that's that's very good, you know. So yeah. Uh, okay. So that's pretty. So they have a chat. You don't need the chat for 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 your store when you're starting, okay? Because it's gonna slow your website down, so you don't need it. They have they are an established brand, so you know they need it. But for you, it's like people are gonna ask questions, and it's just it's just gonna slow down your store, all right? 
So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tour. Like I said, the blog is great. Don't don't obviously the terms and condition, privacy policy, all that stuff is really important. Please, I've seen so many websites not doing it. I don't even understand. People ask me to review their website. I, I see they don't have the terms and condition up. I, come on, like you know, just help yourself a bit. It's just it's not hard if you if you try to to just be fast, you know, like try to do everything quick. It's not gonna work, man. Like, guys, like, it's just. It's just a business. It's a business and you have to take it seriously. All right. So, okay. So that's pretty much for this store. Pretty much it for this store. Now we're going to go to another good store. And then <laughs> in the end, I'm going to show you a bad store. All right. So uh, you can see here, uh, same. Uh, you can see here is the same method. A nice banner, best selling clubs, videos, social proof <laughs> reviews, and that's it. Right, it, and it's the same logo as well. It's not the same owner. It's a completely different store. It's not the same theme as well. But they use the same method. There's a reason why they do. Okay, it's because it's clean, it works, and it's in it offers a high conversion rate. They know what they're doing. Those guys are spending millions, all right, on advertising on everything. So they know what they are doing. You should, if they do this, you should do it too. Okay. So let's see again. You can see on the product page here, same thing. They have three nice points about the store just to get. People, uh, you know, like to hook the customer, easy to read from anywhere. If you, if you wait for max control and feel, max legal groove, that for increased spin. See, they're not saying, oh, uh, like the size is, you know, like the it's like one meter long or it's like, no, they explain why heavy weight. Yeah, it's good because you can have max control and feel, easy to hit from anywhere. They actually say stuff that people care about. They don't just describe the product, you know, like, like most people do. Uh, so, why you will love many limited edition Volcano Touch, which is... So they explain again why do you will love their product. What, the 60 day on course guarantee, you don't need to do that. But again, they explain why. What is designed for? And uh, and like my name is Sully, I'm a talk of just like you. So I started Boom Tech Tough. They, they relate to customer. They explain why they are... They, he's an amateur golfer. And those products are designed for amateur golfer that want like, be, you know, better performances. I don't play golf. I don't know shit about golf. But again, I want to buy the thing because it's just... It's just that's they're doing a great job here. So again, video you can see here. now we have the specification, but you can see it's not here. It's it's like below, like it's just the last thing on the page before the reviews because most people don't care. It's just they're ready to buy. They just want to know a bit more, and boom, it's here. That's important. But at the end, if you just put this, people don't care. Even if you don't put it, I'm guarantee you're gonna sell. I, some of my products that are like high ticket products, right? I, I sell them like a hundred dollars or something. I don't even write the specification i don't even do it it's just it's just a waste of time uh sometimes so you could do it but again do it last and like focus on the description that's what matters that's what's going to bring you sales again reviews again okay so great great stuff uh so again description reviews um the nice description uh video reviews same pattern all right simple you can see it's pretty you know it's pretty simple and pretty it's exactly the same as the other store and that's what you should do uh now we're going to see add to cart so again no crazy timer here something nice you can gain 15 percent off that's good you know uh with a like a wait um pop-up and exit intent pop-up that's good enter coupon the, the thing they're doing wrong here they could actually ask people to subscribe with their email address to, to use the discount code so then they have the email address they can remarket to those customers that's very good uh so here what i will i will add reviews like i showed you like earlier on the other store and i will actually remove this because most of you use free shipping sorry so you don't need to actually uh, you actually don't need to put shipping in tax secure like check it's going to scare people away all right you don't need this so remove it, you can add like your, your guarantee or like SSL secure checkout or free express shipping, something that you think will make the customer feel better, all right? So again, great card, add to card page. They have a phone number here. There's, I mean, it's it's a clean website. They know what they're doing. They don't have a blog though. I would add a blog if they were you about, you know, golf tips and whatever, that's what I would do. Uh, okay, so now let's go, let's have a look at a, at a bad looking website and pretty much what I see most of the time, okay? And it's not the worst I've seen, to be honest. Uh, I didn't look for, because I don't remember, so it's like I just first the f found the first one uh, on a group, 
and uh, it looks bad, but it's not the worst. So you can see here when you see like this, I mean, yeah, it doesn't look, I mean, there's nothing bad here, but except the logo. So the logo, you should have a logo, not just the sentence, but anyway, that's not that bad. When you come here, that's why it's really, really bad. So just all products, and then you have like six, uh, yeah, eight thing, uh, the basic subscribe to our newsletter, this looks bad, guys. This doesn't look like a brand. It looks like somebody that made like a website in five minutes. It's a lazy, you know, lazy person. I think was going to be a millionaire in five in five days. Uh, yeah, that's what people do, and that's really stupid. So you do this, I can guarantee you. In you know, in a few weeks, few months, you're gonna be out of the business. You're just gonna do something, and then you're gonna say drop shipping doesn't work. So yeah, so we're gonna okay. So let's have a look at least. So you have the look, you have the brand on the on the on the image. You can see here, they didn't even rem remove this. I mean, this is completely insane. Anyway, so you click here. Uh, you can see okay, they have five reviews. <laughs> only four thousand four hundred ninety eight left. So that's stupid again because if you use this, if you use this, don't you know put at least twenty five, thirty, fifty, sixty left. Not four thousand left i mean this is completely stupid i mean it's like th this whole thing is about scarcity it's about making people believe that you don't have a lot of stock left like four thousand is a lot so th this is just anyway uh it just shows how lazy uh this person is and how people can be and uh and yeah don't 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 make those mistakes again really bad description okay so massage relaxation material composite material i mean pfft brain name like your he, he size media like this is the description from aliexpress it blows my mind he didn't even change anything and he thought it was going to sell like this is crazy anyway uh so you have the pictures there <sighs> okay it's giving me a headache to be honest to watch those stories <laughs> so this, the the reviews that he found are like on aliexpress uh i mean if, even when you use when you use the thing When you when you actually sorry when you import reviews you know from AliExpress and stuff at least make sure they they they, they are like in English or you know like in because this is a mix of everything this it doesn't it's just completely stupid roses in the original pronoun not feeling normal form like this is just insane like just, yeah didn't even didn't even try uh, so let's see again if you had two cuts what's gonna happen now. Okay, so the card page didn't do anything to the card page. Again, you remove this. Uh, otherwise, this is clean, but it's fine. But you should remove this. And again, I said it like express shipping, whatever. The special instruction to seller to seller. You can remove this, okay? Because it depends. If you do personalized items, keep it. If not, remove it because on your mobile, on your mobile, it takes a lot of space. And people um, shop on mobile and and, and, for, and on the phone, right? So when you're on the card page, they have to scroll a bit more to actually access the the checkout page, the checkout button. If you remove this, it's going to be on the same page. You're going to have the products, and boom, under you're going to have the checkout button. That's very good, very effective. And uh, it doesn't mean that if you don't remove it, you're not going to get sales. But it's the, the, God is in the details, like we say. So it's very important to uh, to make sure everything's clean. That's what I usually do, and that's what I do for my store. So uh, yeah, what else? I mean, for, yeah, that's for the cat page. That's okay. They don't have a blog. They don't have anything. They're pretty much, yeah. So that's what you should not do. And the other websites that I showed you earlier, that's what you should do. Okay, powered by Shopify, you can remove it as well. So yeah. So again, the one of the last point I want to make before I, I leave you guys is build your website for mobile. Okay. So when you build your website always check on your phone how it looks always 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 even if it doesn't look great on desktop it looks amazing on mobile that's what you should focus on okay because that's what's important and that's how you're going to make money uh so it's it's yeah the customers buy from mobile i was pretty surprised when i saw it but when i you know learned that like a few years ago but it is what it is so we focus on mobile and make sure it loads nice, clean, and everything. So this is not what you should do. So, okay, so I hope this helped you a lot. Um, now, please, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna put this video in the group. So every, like for, you know, beginners, even advanced people that want to have like some ideas, this is more for beginners though, but you can have a look at this video and see what you should do, okay? It doesn't mean you have to copy all those, the website I showed you earlier, it doesn't mean that you have, you know, to copy everything, but, 
at least uh, get inspiration from it. You know, it, it's not, it's, it's really not, it's, it's really not, um, it's really not tricky or anything. So just follow the idea, follow the, the model, the, the, the method they're using, like them or the, the, the other like nutrition store, and you'll be good. And then at least you will know that if you don't get sales, it's not because of you know your store. It's going to be all because of your ads or because of your product. And that's a great relief. And that's, that's my goal. When I launch a product, I know my website is fine. I know, I know it because I made sales before, but even before, like when I, I know my website looks like this one. So even if it didn't make sense before, you know, it looks great because those guys are making sales with a website like this. So why, would, why wouldn't you, right? So that's the thing. And then if it doesn't work, you know, it's the product and you know, it's all, you know, it's the ad. So at least you're not going to get overwhelmed and, and, and lose yourself into like trying different things and modif you know, it's not the website and that's very, very important. So yeah. So that's, that's the thing, because I see a lot of people, they don't know where the problem comes from. So that's why I nail uh, every aspects of the game, every aspects of e-com, and you'll be, you'll, you'll be great. Okay. You'll just uh, be on your way and, uh, and you're going to make sales and everything's going to work out. Okay. So thank you for, for your time. Really appreciate it. I'm going to post this video in the group as well. Uh, please subscribe to uh, the, the YouTube channel. I'm going to post like maybe a video by the end of the week and a minimum of one video per week and uh, yeah please let me know in the comments or in the group uh, what you want to learn next uh, next video i not i don't exactly know what i'm going to do it about but i'm going to let you know in the group soon so give me ideas you know like i want to to make videos like in a in a logic um like order i want to like first one was like mindset the second one was like product research this one is about optimization or maybe the next one's going to be a product description or something that, again, the basics. And then we're going to go into more advanced stuff. All right, so thank you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.